Hi guys, I'm Matt, and as you can see, I'm living in a building site. If you're new to our channel, I built this house from the ground up out of hempcrete. That is the hemp plant, which is chopped up, mixed with lime, water, and then we use that mix to put in the external walls of the house, and that's formed the house. So the reason we decided to move in the house before it was finished is because beforehand, uh, we were living in a second building and paying the upkeep of that. So it seemed sensible just to move in here as early as possible and eliminate them costs, which is what we did. But to move in, we needed heating and hot water. Uh, in an earlier episode, we installed that whole system with an air source heat pump and the underfloor heating around the whole house and a hot water cylinder. We needed a kitchen, which I'll show you in a minute, is by no means finished, but it's good enough for us to live in. Uh, we needed a lounge slash office, which is where I am right now. And finally, we needed a bedroom and a bathroom. <laughs> So oh, this is the finished product and the most finished part of the house. Uh, behind me these are scaffold boards. As I'm a builder I've had these laying around for years and they've been bashed around and I thought perfect to repurpose into the backboard and bedside tables. So I just gave them a sand and a few coats of oil and they're there now. And uh, you saw me plastering the walls, that was a lime plaster I was using as opposed to a traditional plaster. And the reason I did that is because it's, because it's a hemp building and the whole idea is the walls are breathing. I didn't want to put over a layer over the top of the hemp that was going to seal the walls and stop that happening. So instead I used the, the lime plaster which allows them to breathe and by the same principle I did the same with the paint uh, and used the lime wash paint uh, which was a product I hadn't used before and when I went online and had a look at some of the effects people were getting with them it was really cool. While I haven't actually achieved the same myself it definitely has got a lot of texture to it and we're actually really happy with it, we like it a lot. Um, and you might have wondered who that guy in the video was, that's my brother who's a bespoke carpenter and he came in to help me make the vanity unit in the bathroom because he's got all the right tools and he's, he's, he's brilliant, he's better than me. Uh, so he helped me make that. But yeah that's the most finished part of the house, let's go and see some of the less finished parts. Well, I say it's completely finished, but out of shop, we haven't actually got the doors on the wardrobe yet. But who needs doors? Um, we've also got here on, on this, where there should be a door, we've just got these uh, tent zip-up things just to keep the dust out. But there's not been any dust, and they're just more of a trip hazard than anything, to be honest. But that's why they're there. That's the heating cupboard that I was talking about earlier, where we put the heating system. Um, and it's actually been performing really well. It's been really warm in here. Despite you can see the ceiling's still got gaps in where we've not plastered it yet. Uh, we've been getting a cop of 5.7, so hopefully that will go up and become better the more we seal it up. So this is downstairs, like you can see it's a building site. Um, that's our dining room table, it's an outdoor table. 
This is my tool slash material storage area. I've got a swim wall flue here. That's going to be the next job that I'm doing actually. We're running that up through and out the roof uh, to install a log burner downstairs. And under here, we've got, um, when we did the external walls, this was some leftover hemp. So we're going to be making some hempcrete and doing some internal walls in the next couple of weeks as well. But yeah, we've got some clothes drying out here as well. And uh, this is the kitchen I was telling you about. But it does the job. It's made out of old pallets. And um, my brother, who's the carpenter, he was ripping out these old units, these cupboards out of someone's house. So I said, oh, I'll have them. So I've reused them as a temporary kitchen. But yeah, you might, some people would like on the same timeline as me would have definitely been finished the building by now. But I got, I've been distracted, been enjoying it. We had a nice summer. Um, so I went out and got stuck into growing for the first time, which was, we did an episode on. And uh, after the season, we actually loved it so much that we spent even more time in the garden and redesigned the whole garden, which I'll show you now. And um, yeah, so I've been procrastinating, but this is what I've been up to. <laughs> That's it now, we've got our no dig beds ready, waiting for the summer, ready to plant in, uh, which will be made out of scaffold boards. Um, I contacted a guy that's a, that's a scaffolder and went to their yard and paid them not so much money to get some boards, so they've been upcycled. As well as the greenhouse, that was taken off Facebook Marketplace, I've managed to get that and I went and dismantled it and got that for free. And also the bricks as well, I went and took down a wall and, and kept all the bricks, so I've just, they're different bricks from different walls that I've kept and just used them all higgledy piggledy in, in my lot. Um, and the trellising as well on the Gola, that rather than buying trellising at £20 a sheet or, uh, or whatever, I actually got some uh, timber for about £11, ripped it down into 5mm strips and wove, wove it in and made my own trellising. But that's it, you're all caught up to date now. We've got loads of stuff coming up. Um, we'll see you in the next one.